The fun one, I said, I think the three most asked questions in America right now are, what are we going to do about the economy? Right. What are we going to do about Hil Hillary's health care? And are the Jets going to reunite? Are they going to reunite? A lot of people wondering. You know, there's been a lot in the news lately and, and for a long time, uh, the power of prayer. Yes. Dr. Larry dossie has got a great book out called, the Heal called Healing Words. It works. The power of prayer. It absolutely does. Um, See, the normal condition for us is to be in, in spontaneous remission, which is what my chart says. The body's a miracle, and people don't realize that God's desire for us, is for us to be whole and healthy and happy. And for the last five years, I've been doing research. I've been meeting with actually the most brilliant minds in America on how the mind does control our bodies, and it's unbelievable the body of evidence, the hard empirical scientific data that we're gathering. And you talk a lot about that, you mentioned in your book, about mm -hmm. the, the power of prayer and the healing and the, all kinds mm -hmm. of things. What, what inspired you to, to write this book? Well, it wasn't my idea. <laughs> I have to do disclaimer. Write now, this. Hepatitis affects your liver, not your brain. I'm not <laughs> crazy. Um, it was our manager's idea because he thought in 89 when I was diagnosed that I wasn't going to make it uh, because this is a potentially life-threatening illness. And so write so the book? He knew what a bizarre life I'd had and he really wanted me to, uh, I guess, chronicle it for the grandchildren. He thought I'd never live to see. Do you so he signed us to a book deal. I had nothing to do with it. After the farewell concert, he shows up at the farm and he said, well, remember when I signed you to the book deal? It's time. It's time. You got that and big I said, advance. I said, how'd you like to have your prostate check? <laughs> uh, do you make your own soap? Now, how the heck did you know that? I heard it on Lisa, that ENVC uh, program oh, earlier yes. this what? week. What? It's twoo, it's twoo. <laughs> Is it? Why do you do that? Well, Winona and Ashley call me a backwards pioneer because <laughs> I always seem to be going back to discover simple truths. Your cameraman's laughing. <laughs> I'll have to bring you some. It's very good for you, young man. Uh, <laughs> my motto these days is slow down, yes. simplify, and be kind. But I'm always trying to, uh, to make Winona and Ashley realize that this world is getting completely out of control. You got that right. Well, it has. You been. know better than anybody else. You do the news. And, Reading and all look these at my stories. Hair. The news <laughs> did this to my hair, Naomi. It has been a pleasure meeting you, and we want to remind everybody out there that Naomi will be signing her books tomorrow at the University Bookstore yep. at UCSD. The bookstore is at the Price Center, and she will be there at noon. Step right up, get your book. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Take care. See? Uh, you, you're, you're gorgeous. I have well, to thanks. say that you are just I want some of your, your soap. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nona and I always say when we leave each other, we've just got these silly little inside things, and I always say, love your hair, I hope you win. <laughs> and so, love your hair, I hope you win, Mitch. <laughs> well.